Good afternoon, welcome Jim Munley's World of Weather, clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast discussion for June 25th through July 7th. For June 25th to 29th, we have a ridge here still over the East Pacific near the Aleutians. We have a trough here in the West, and we have a ridge that's building here across the Eastern U.S. with this trough lifting out away from the Northeast. So you look at the GFS and we go to the period, and you start seeing the ridge building. We have a trough in the west. And here's the um, GFS ensembles. And here's the European deterministics. And the European ensembles are all showing basically the same thing as does the NEFS. Now, during this period, we're going to have a closed low that will rotate over the northwest next week. And this system will interact with return moisture and instability and fuel organized storms in the mid to late week period. So you see the system over the Midwest and it bring rain. Then it starts going into um, over into the Rockies. And then the system will lift northeast through the Great Lakes and northeast with this trailing cold front right here will bring um, stalls and dissipates over the southeast and this boundary will be the focus for showers and storms as you have through the period this will see right here this is the gfs here's a european and then we have an upper ridge over the southeast and the gulf coast that will be replaced by uh replaced by a trough over the Gulf Coast states later in the week and a moist southerly flow will result in localized heavy downpours of the Gulf Coast states in the southeast. You see here in the GFS well and here's the European Okay, now we're going to look at the period for June 28th through the 2nd. June 28th, whoops. June 28th, a uh, trough gradually lifts out of the northwest. Subtropical ridge is forecast across the southern U.S. with near or above normal heights across the nation. You see it right here. This is the GFS. Here's the GFS ensembles and the rest of the models. Oh, showing the subtropical ridge here. This trough gradually lifts out. We have above normal heights. So the models are pretty good agreement on this. So for this forecast period, I'm forecasting below normal temperatures for the northwest. And anomalies of 2 degrees below normal are forecast. And above normal temperatures forecast for the remainder of the nation with anomalies of 2 to 4 degrees above normal are forecast. For precipitation... Calling for above normal precipitation for this region here. The probability of occurrence is 35%. And then we have a below normal precipitation forecast for the southeast, the Gulf Coast states, the Middle Atlantic, or the Northeast. And the probability of occurrence is 35%. Now we look at the period for July 3rd to the 7th. And we have a ridge forecast of the southern and western U.S. somewhere across this area here. And a trough over the northeast. Or near the southeast coast. And the miles are continue to indicate differences in the strength of this trough here. But it's still going to be there of some sort of a trough will be over the northeast. So for this forecast period, I'm forecasting above normal temperatures for the western states and forecast anomalies to be near 4 degrees above normal. And then we have below uh, near normal temperatures or near to below normal temperatures forecast for the remainder of the nation. And I'm forecasting anomalies of 2 degrees below normal are forecast for precipitation calling for above normal precipitation for much of this area here. The probability of occurrence is 
and we have below normal precipitation here and for the southeast, middle Atlantic, and the northeast, and the probability of occurrence is 45%. That's the long range weather forecast discussion for June 25th to July 7th. Thanks for coming to Jim Mullings World of Weather and have a good day.